here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to the squad. I'm Yes, and I'm happy that you're here. Please don't forget to subscribe before you leave. So I'm really excited about today's video because I've not done a celebrity-inspired video in the longest time, probably over a year maybe. No, I think I'm actually lying. But um, I was scrolling through Instagram and I was stalking Perry Edwards' Instagram and I came across this picture right here and as soon as I saw it, I hit up my best friend and I was like, oh my God, look at this picture, I have to recreate it. My friend's a huge, huge Two Little Mix fan, so she was like, yes girl, I'll do it. So um, yeah, so yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing today. So if you wanna learn how I got my Perry Edwards inspired look, then please keep watching. All right, so I did already apply my base. I used the Tarte Poreless Primer as my primer, obviously, and then I used the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick in the shades Y375 and R330. And since my tan is going away, these are usually the shades that I mix, but when I'm like full tanned, I usually just go with my Y shade, so just FYI. I was gonna go in with my Tarte Lit, but I think now I'm going to be going in with my Sweet Peach palette instead. The colors just seem a little bit more accurate. So I'm going to be taking the color Puree, which is this one right here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and use that as my like transition shade. I mean, the focus is obviously the liner, but she does have some shadow. I'm wearing a sweater right now because, you know, I'm really trying to get into the look or whatever. And honestly, it's so hot with all these lights on me. So now I'm going to be going in with Summer Yam, which is this one right here. It's more of like an orangey, like reddish. Mm, it smells so bomb, you guys. If you don't have this palette, honestly, you need it. Unless you don't like the smell of like peaches, then don't. Although I've mentioned before that it doesn't really smell like peaches necessarily. It smells like artificial. And the brush that I'm using is just like a generic brush that I got from a company called JN Beauty. All right, so I've decided I'm gonna do the black liner first. Um, and I'm going in with my M Cosmetics felt tip liner. Wait, it's a felt tip, this is a brush tip one. Okay, so, um, <laughs> all right, let's go. Sorry, I'm not talking this takes a lot of like concentration. It does look like she has a pretty thick wing. So that's what we're going for. And it's pretty like rounded at the end, so that's why I'm kind of taking it more as a curve. If you guys haven't tried this eyeliner, you guys need it. It is just so easy to apply and it's so freaking sharp. Like, I've used it a good six times and it hasn't um, it hasn't gotten dull. Where other ones that I've used, they're really sharp for like the first two, three applications. And then they just start to get dull. Alright, now the problem is how am I going to match this? The palm's not creating one wing, creating one wing is easy, but getting them to match, that's the challenge. I know a lot of people are always like, oh my god girl, your eyeliner, like, you're so lucky, it just comes out so nice, and I'm like, girl, I still have those days where I'm like, oh, I'm not coming. My eyeliner is not coming out right. I don't want to do it. But it seems like the eyeliner gods were on my side today because it looks like they're matching. So, let's continue. 
All right, so now for my red eyeliner, I'm gonna be going in with my Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Lady Balls. Interesting. So now I'm gonna be taking my Sigma Winged Liner EO6 brush, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of this in here, flatten it out, make sure we don't have any like chunks in there. I actually just stained this sweater. I don't know how I pulled it out and like a drop just fell on my sweater, so that sucks. <laughs> but okay, so now we're going in with this, and we're just gonna go ahead and create a wing over the wing. The issue is going to be matching the other side, so let's go. Just get right into it. You guys, I'm really blind in my right eye. Like, my right eye is like three times as bad, three or four times as bad as my left eye. So, I really do have trouble sometimes when I have to like close. Ooh, look at that. Uh oh. I'll take it off right now. I really do have trouble when I have to like close my eye, my left eye, and then I only have my right eye to see, and I'm like, oh crap, I can't really see, but I'm doing it. I think we got it even. Yes, yes, I need to clean that. So I'm just gonna take this sharp brush from e.l.f. Cosmetics and I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil to just kinda rub that off. So now I'm gonna be going in with my lashes and this is in the style Sultry Lishes from the brand Lashy Lishes and this is what they look like. How beautiful are they? They're just like very, very wispy and really, really voluminous and nice. So that's what we're gonna be going in with. So you guys know that I cannot, for anything, apply lashes with my finger, so I'm applying it with tweezers. All right, so I am going to do the bottom of my eyes right now, but I want to finish the rest of my face first. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the color Natural. I already applied one, but it was too, uh, it was too dark. If you've not tried this concealer, you must, because it's only like three or four bucks. Perfect for beginners. If you want to skip the whole face routine and you just want to go straight to the eye look, um, I'm going to have a timestamp down below. So we're just going to go ahead and blend that out. So now for bronzer, I'm going in with my Opera Cosmetics bronzer in the color Americano. And I'm taking a super big fluffy brush just because we want to do like light, not too strong of a contour. Okay. 
Honestly, I'm pretty disappointed. This is a brush from BH Cosmetics. And it's like on the verge of falling apart. So, I'm a little shocked because I love BH Cosmetics. They were one of the brands that I used a lot. Like when I first started, just because it was so inexpensive. I remember like the Christmas when I was in beauty school, I like got really into makeup and my mom bought me all kinds of stuff from BH Cosmetics from, for Christmas and it was very inexpensive and I don't remember them being like this back then, but in this set, this is the second one that's like falling apart. Like literally it's like, I don't know, it's just holding on by thread. I don't know if you can hear that it's like wanting to fall apart. Just like here, this part right here. Like if I wiggle it, it'll probably almost come off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer with the RCMA Colorless Powder, which I love. It's my favorite setting powder. Okay, so in the picture, it doesn't look like she has a white waterline, but she does have a light waterline. So I'm actually gonna be going in with this same concealer that I used, and that's what I'm gonna be putting inside of my waterline. All right, so now we are going to remove all of the excess powder. And we are going to finish our eyes. So now I'm gonna just gonna take a little tiny bit of that red, as you can see, which is still the liquid lipstick, but just enough to give us kind of like a you kind of see what I'm saying. So we're just gonna get a little 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 tiny bit and we're gonna mix it with the color uh summer jam, which is this one right here, or is it summer yam? Oh summer yum. <laughs> So we're just gonna lightly do that and just kind of go down here. It does look like she has a little bit of red on the bottom. And so now we're gonna go in with our mascara, which is a very defined part of the look. Yes. This is just my 19 year old CoverGirl mascara. If you guys have seen my February favorites video, you know what I'm talking about. Or was it March? I think it might have been March. So for blush, I'm going in with Exposed from Tarte Cosmetics. I'm a super big brush. All my other brushes are dirty, that's why I'm using this one. So I also did do my eyebrows off camera, obviously, and I went for that messy, wispy look that she had going on. I don't know how well I pull it off, but um, for sake of the tutorial, we did it. And in the picture, it doesn't seem like she has like any highlight, but um, who am I if I didn't wear highlight? So we're still gonna add highlight. And then if you don't wanna add highlight, then you know, it's completely up to you. We're just gonna add a light, a light glow. So for my lips, I'm going to be going in with my Be Hue Liquid Lipstick in the color Natural Nude. And this is one of my favorite liquid lipsticks in the whole entire world. Oh my god, it makes your lips look bigger and everything. And smells like vanilla. No, kind of smells like vanilla, but like, like you're going to like a water park, like sunscreen. You see how it just makes my lips look bigger? I don't know. 
Maybe it's just me. And to finish it off, I'm gonna be setting everything with my Glam Glow Glow Setter Spray. Which smells amazing. This has to be like the best smelling setting spray I've ever smelled. It's amazing. So let me just fix my hair. Unfortunately, I don't have those beautiful blue eyes and my blue contacts dried up. So <laughs> my brown eyes are going to have to do you guys. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please let me know down below if there's any other looks of celebrities that you guys want me to recreate. And I'll try to get on it. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys very soon.